Welcome back to another episode of Lee's Listers. So in this one, I'm going to take the vaporizer off. Because uh, sort of hung out a little bit. Just put that spanner on there because uh, I noticed it's different size to the others. I've just tried them all and slacked them all off ever so slightly. Um, the fuel pipes down here got to come off. So... Prep my spanners this time because my toolbox, I've had a rearrange in the garage and move my bloody toolbox further away. Like a pillock. So that is the return ball. Nice wing of that pipe out of the way. Cat. So that's return for both parts. Instead of one going back to the tank and the other one going back to the tank separately, they're going to this ball, which looks like a flash arrester. That's all I can think it being. And then it, it takes a beeline backwards um, and goes goes to the um, fuel tank together. That's all I can think that is. Obviously, I'll get it stripped and have a look. So that's the fuel side's completely taken off. I'll take that one off as well because... Anything's coming up that one. I can see that getting knocked. Bloody thing, gone. It's like that off there. It's a few inlet. Oh. Absolutely chocker of rust. Oops, that's not good. Anyway, that's why I'm stripping it because we know it'll be all grimy and horrible inside. So, I've already put that spanner on. I have tried to slacken them off to see if we'd need the induction heater or not from work. Luckily, they've all come slack. So, if we get them off without that, it would be a bonus. So what I'm going to do is go down underneath, take all the underside ones off. Don't want to happen to this one when I get it off, I'll show you. But uh, there's one or two like in this engine where it's like it's been dripped on, but then the nut next to it is perfectly fine. One of these, gnarly and horrible. These two, yeah, they're a bit the same, which suggests it's run down there. But then this one over here, which I'm undoing, maybe it has been on there, and it's been vaporizer has been off at some point and it's been put back somewhere else. There you go. So all the, uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly.
was going to snap. Get a bit of a tickle up the wire brush. You'll notice as well, I'll put them in the same place to come off. So, bottom, top, bottom, top. Because I think they spent a lot of years on that thread as that nut. And they always go back better when they're on the same one. If I take the last one off, I'll just check there's no else. There's no clip at the top of the throttle to take off. Both fuel pipes are off. I literally have this one. The whole vaporizer should, <laughs> should come off. How well? I don't know. It's not falling off, so it's a bonus. Looking forward to getting it washed, it's absolutely uh, bloody filthy. Right. One, two, three, four, five. We get a rubber. Rubber tapping stick. moving inlets are anywhere exhaustibly that one's moving just the tops I don't want it to go and we not be expecting it About a chance then just to wiggle it and drop one in. It's that side. It's stuck on that top flange. I'm going to break it off. Bit of shite in that stud. Yeah, it's coming.
this gently does it. There we go, to one side. There we go. Whoa. There it is. Back of the manifold. It's bloody heavy. I'll just carry it over here. Put it down. <laughs> Gently. And uh, there's the two. Ooh. Bloody tripod. What a pain. There's the two heads. Manifoldless. Yeah. It's uh, good to see that. We've got the nice original caskets on. Um, which actually don't look in bad nick. That's the valve that's stuck. I'm uh, rusting it. See if I'm torch. That's just stuck on the stem. That one looks a bit rough. That one looks really, really nice, is that? Inlet looks really good. The outlet looks a bit rough. A quick look up there, I wouldn't say it's had any water in. It's, uh, they just look damp. Let if I can turn that one so that. Oh, I sat back on its seat. Don't know which one's stuck. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's stuck on that follow. Yeah, so piston number one. The inlet's stuck. The exhaust, which I thought was stuck, isn't. That one's sitting down nicely. That one's looking nice. Actually, that seat don't look bad in there. I can see that. Let's turn it back. No, that one looks a bit damp. So it has been damp, rusty. That one's good. Yeah, promising. A lot of paint on it, which I'm really, really chuffed about. I think it'll clean up lovely. I'll leave them gaskets on there for now so they don't get lost. Change that nut because it's the wrong size. And unlike the others, this one's post war size which is bizarre because that side cylinder head they're pre-war this size post-war i don't know why that is it's a bit strange really because that one there's pre-war the bolts that hold the uh, nuts that, sorry that hold the cylinders on their post-war and then the main crank ones at that side on this side, uh, that side definitely is pre-war. They're pre-war as well. I wonder if it's just a case of a bit of a swap over. But it's strange that that cylinder red, the left one, number two, is pre-war size and that one's post-war size. Strange. Yeah. Right, let's get a bit more pulled out. Let's see about the valve plugs because they're they're always easier when they're in place. Right then, valve plugs. Double trouble on this one. So, first job. At least I just tried this blue spanner and it fit. Now we're done. Right, because the outlet just splayed a little bit. There's one. These never been off because the uh, paint's still on. Take that one out of the wing end. There's two. Three. These are going to be a full house. A bit. A 
PS4. Get the bloody thing off. <sighs> Jeez. Them four. Try these four. Must admit, I did cheat a bit the other day. To try one or two to see if they come loose. I was twitching to get a spanner chucked out, you see. so I don't lose it. Right, I can't try and cheat and do what you usually do. Leave the tap in, turn them over, and try and pop them out. I'm going to have to tackle them with hammer. So, it's, um, it's not great doing it like this, but if you're careful, it works. So, I've got three snap on chisels. So, this is the smallest one. So, I use snap on ones because of the taper. They're a lot shallow in, in the taper here, and they have quite a nice shallow taper in the in the wedge if you're really really careful you can just tickle them under and it's a case of a little bit here a little bit there back Too much in one spot, you'll break them. And also, it's going to come off. Look how small my hammer is. It's easier. Lots of little knocks. Let's just shock them a little bit. Rather than going at a mill for leather with the hammer. Right, that one's actually cracked its seal. That's the next next one up. Just tap it from this side, so that one's now loose. That one's now loose. Gently tap it up. Nice and gentle. Up to the next size because that one's got too small. The big one's often just a bit too big. 
do with two of these middle ones, really. Else. With that, Ooh, that's gonna take. Probably took them too off now. Pop and get a couple of pry bars. Maybe these are two the same. Same old place, corner to corner. There we go. Right, that's never been off. I know that because the gasket school paints on. It's getting blade. Chop it off. Bloody tight now. Flew out now, it's gone tight. There we go. Number one. Ooh, that's interesting. It's, uh, it's the exhaust side. And they are different from petrol to petrol paraffin ones. So. There you go, look. A bit of fresh carbon. It's a uh, crusty on top. It's been sat there a few years. What's that one? Time to do two, three, and four now. Put my nuts back. Same again. It's just a case of repeat squeeze it under there and under there Leave that one in because I've got it stuck at that side. Sometimes you do with them ones. But gone anyway. It's not coming apart as well as what we want. Two hours later.
Yay. So, yeah. That's the last one. There we go. Can't really see it on the camera. So that one's only taking me, well, getting that one out wasn't too bad. So that was a chew. And then, uh, see what's left of the gasket. Not a lot. It's not last now. I think it's taking me four hours in total. The problem is, I can't find anything. So, let's see. It's thick with carbon. It acts like a bloody super glue. Uh, and the problem with that one, the only way is brute force and ignorance. That's the valve plugs out. Dropped a nut somewhere. Christ knows where it's gone. It's rolled off into the abyss. Never to be found again. Whew. Been a chew. I'm friggin' knackered. I'll show you this as well. So as I did in my Q type one. I'll be throwing this gasket away. I'm not precious for it. You can buy new ones. I wouldn't bother. I'll just use the butcher string method, which I showed you in the Q type. It's cheap. It's easy to fix if you go if and when they go wrong, because these do leak. That's what the gaskets are like. Uh, someone has tried replicating them, but you've got to get these four holes lined up, that distance in them two lined up, plus then that way with them ones, plus then the thickness and material. They're just the shite, the new ones. They're not made of, I don't think they're made of copper either, they're just made of um, the fabric. They don't last, but yeah. That's um some bloody gloves off. So that's the valve plugs out. So uh, as you can see there's a fair ring of carbon inside of them. You can see in the exhaust one where I've scraped it. So a bit of stuff removed. I think next. I'll tackle all this linkage, fuel pipes, uh, the spark arrestor, the fuel pump, the single ram pump. Take this lever off. Um, still got this flywheel on. Um, just while I get the other one off, I'll take this little pulley off as well. Mag cover, uh, bracket, sorry. Oil filler cover. Um, and probably cylinder heads that'll go take them off as well because I noticed this one it's got a little crack in it there goes down so I'll have that to fill up plus in guarantee in there be absolutely gummed up with shit show sure, the sneak peek of the uh, inside it's quite interesting actually so we have let me just move some stuff so I can turn it over What's the two pistons? And then in the bottom of here, see about on this side, there's little wells, which the aisle for the big end dipper is, is in. And then the oil from the oil pump is pumped into them. So they must be full all the time. It overflows out of them into the bottom, which then flows through, do it to focus up there, into your overflow um, filling point my filling point and then back through the very hole in the bottom and just see it